Hey guys, on today's video, I'm gonna show you how to set up right here your RV, Starlink RV, or your Starlink Roaming. It's the exact same thing, it's just a rebranding. So technically when I ordered this, it was already rebranded to Starlink Roaming, but it's the same thing as your Starlink RV. So let's just get started with that router first of all. So here is your router. It's pretty simple. You're gonna have this cable, that's for your electrical. See this part right here? All you have to do is plug it in here. You can only plug it in one way. Just make sure it's snug in there. That's it. Now this end, now this end will obviously go into your outlet. So just hook that up. But before we do that, just hook up this part to your dish. So let's move on over to your dish. So to set up your dish with your stand, you don't need to take out the cable. You can, so I want to show you that you could just take this out, but for the setup, you don't want to. Just, so just leave it there. And what you want to do is just put it on the side a little bit. You're going to notice that there's only one way to insert your stand. So here's the stand. It's only going to go one way. It will not be able to go another way. You're going to hear a clipping sound that you guys just heard. To take this out, oh, you have to press that button. But anyways, right now you will notice on this side, that's where your cable comes out from. So this is already designed so your cable can stay inside when you're installing this. You don't need to take out the cable and then just try to fit it through there. That's not going to work out. It's already made so you guys can just snap it in. So your dish at this point will look something like so. And all you have to do is take out the other end. So this is the other end that's connected there. And you will plug this into your router. So here's our router. This can only go one way again. So here we go. We're just going to plug this in. Again, it can only go one way in. You're not going to be able to plug it in another way. So it goes in this way. And we are set up. So the router itself will go inside your house or your RV, your campsite. And then the dish will be outside it could be going on your roof for example or on the floor where there's no trees around it too close so they cannot be way too close to this it's just not going to capture a signal it's not going to work out so you want to leave this in a space that's pretty open so they do specify that a lot within the manuals so here's how the dish would look like if it's connected to your router obviously you wouldn't have your router that close the cable is really really long so you don't need to do that and your dish will move by itself just to calibrate where it's supposed to be going towards. So it's going to point a certain direction and that would be it. But at this point, you're pretty much ready to go on and take over everything, the setup from your phone. All you have to do is just hook that up in the outlet. So again, you're supposed to plug this into an outlet and then just go to your phone or tablet and do the whole setup from there. Right into your app store. Now, this would be the exact same thing if you have an iPhone or iPad. Down here below, you're going to see search on the bottom right hand side. Just tap on search. Up here, you're just going to type in Starlink. Look for it. And then what I usually never say is to tap on the very first thing because that's just an ad. It could just be a totally, completely different app. What you want to do is scroll down a little bit and it's going to be the second one. So here we go. We could just press on get or you guys can open it up just to make sure it is. And this is the official one. So this one is the one that you want to download. So just press on get. Once you do that, it's just going to go ahead, verify, and it's going to start the download. It's a very, very small app. Right down here, it's going to tell you which iPhones and uh, how big this is as well. So right here, it's going to tell you it's around 110 megabytes. And it's compatible with any phone that's running iOS 13 or later, which also does include the iPod Touch, which I didn't think it would be compatible. But anyways, once you're here, you guys can go ahead and just tap on Open. Press always, always press on allow, by the way. And there you go. You can just get started. You will notice on the top left hand side, you're going to see that icon, like a profile icon. Tap there. And you're going to see this sign in. Just go ahead and press continue. Just write in your email, your password and tap on sign in. Press allow again. Once you press allow, you're going to see this, your account. However, now you can just press on the top left hand corner of your screen on that X. And by pressing that, you're not signing out. You're signed into your account, which is exactly what we want. After that, we can just go ahead and press Start Setup.
All right, so you're gonna notice that your Starlink moved by itself. It's actually searching. So once it's done finally searching, then, and only then, it's gonna work. So just remember to do the scanning with your phone thing first, and then keep going with everything else. So then you're gonna get a connection. Or else, sometimes you're gonna be stuck at that thing where it tells you to connect to your Wi-Fi, but it doesn't really do anything, although you're already hooked up to your Wi-Fi from your dish. All right, so at this point, that's it. That's it for the dish. That is all that we had to do. Just run that speed test just to see how you're doing. And enjoy your dish. You can pause your service at any point if you have this type of service with roaming. Just go right into your app. Once you open up your app on the top right hand corner of your screen, you're going to see that icon that's for your profile. Just tap up there, top right. Once you do so, you're going to see this. Scroll down a little bit and you're going to see Right above sign out on the bottom, it's gonna say pause service. Just tap on pause service. And once you do that, it's gonna tell you this, it's gonna pause at a specific date and then just tap okay and resume it whenever you guys are ready to go on your next thing or whenever you like. Also keep in mind that you can cancel that upcoming pause at any time. So if you change your mind, you can cancel that and then just keep going. Once you're done with that, on the top left hand side of your screen, just tap on that X and that's it. At this point in time, you should see this upcoming pause off your service. It's going to be that notification. So just make sure to activate it whenever you want and deactivate it whenever you don't. It is for the whole month though, once you activate and then you can just deactivate it so you don't get charged for the next one. And that would be it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.